Hello, me bros. This is Jason of Game of Tracks, and I don't know if I should call this video a haul video or an unboxing video because I didn't get a lot of stuff. But anyways, so now let's start. All right, so I only got three things. I have a Game Boy Advance game, a GameCube game, and a Switch game. Yes, n pretty much nothing but Nintendo systems, games for Nintendo systems. But anyways, first, first one is the Game Boy Advance game, and I got Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, in a box. Now, if you remember my third haul video, I got Lego Star Wars 2 on the GameCube, and I wanted to see how how drastically different this this game would be on the Game Boy Advance. I have no idea if it's on the DS or not. It might be, because I'm not completely sure, because this game was released in um, 2006. So, I mean, the DS was around for two years, so it might be. I mean, you never know. I wanna, maybe I will check. But yeah, but you kind of expect, but it's kind of expected of what you would see from a, a downgraded Game Boy Advance port to a console game. I mean, if you can see right here, it's an isometric 3D 3D platformer with some of the mechanics of the console games. I mean, I tried the first level. I mean, it's fine. It's, I mean, it's obviously downgraded from the consoles. And then, it, and then inside, you can see right there, there's the cartridge. Ta da cartridge. I wonder if I wonder, and then here's the Game Boy Precautions booklet and then the instruction manual is also in here. Yep, see ta da So yeah, that that's pretty much it for this. This was only five dollars from the used game store I got I got it from. It's pretty good pretty good especially for a box Game Boy Advance game. I mean, probably because it's a downgraded port of a console game, so it might be why. But, I don't know. I mean, I, don't, I didn't expect it to be as good as the console versions. Alright, next is the GameCube game, and I got... Pac-Man Fever, Pac-Man Fever. Yes, I got a party, a Pac-Man a party game. That's like a Mario party, except with Namco characters. And you see, I got it for... Ten dollars. I'm not sure how much uh, if that's worth it or not. Like spine and back. It's the battle of the Namco stars. One to four players. One to four players. I think I know this game is also on the PlayStation Two, and it does support the was it uh, multi tap. There we go. And I'm not sure how different that would be on the PS2 compared to the GameCube because, you know, GameCube has four ports on the system and PS2, for some stupid reason or number, or number, or, or another, they decided to put two controller ports and had to make you buy a multi-tap. Thanks, Sony. But yeah, not sure how, how well this would be. I, I think I've, se I've seen gameplay of it. It's kind of like Mario Party, but... but you start you start like, every turn with a mini game, and then and then you you um go on the move uh, <laughs> you move on the board. And inside here's the disc. It's a yellow disc with Packy Man. Then here's the manual, and then there's a precautions booklet behind it. Yeah, I'll give it I'll give it a shot at some point, maybe after this video. And then the last game, yeah, it. <coughs> Sorry about that, I have a cold. Is the Nintendo Switch game. I got the Lego Ninjago movie video game. Now, I have no idea how, if this is this, like all the other console Lego games. It might be. I mean, look at it. There's, well, as the trailer said, called call it Lloyd. Or as the Lego Battles Ninjago, I call him Floyd. And then there's Pie, Bowl, Bane. Ooh, uh, K, and let's see, Nia somewhere, anywhere, and then there's Garmadon. Yep, because this game was, because, as, as I filmed this, 
Today is September 23rd, and obviously the movie was released yesterday. And I went to see the movie today. It's it's better than what critics are are complaining about it. I mean, I don't I don't really, really have no idea. Like, it really doesn't have a good rating on Rotten Tomatoes. 52%. It's better, I feel like it's going to get a cult following as the years go on. It'll get better over time. You know, just like Destiny and Watch Dogs. Get a piece of the action. Find your inner ninja as you defend in Jago City from the evil Lord Garbodod and his shark army. So there's, there's K, Naya, Floyd, U, Bane, Bull, and the Pie, and then Garmadon. Master Ninja Agility. As you upgrade your skills and weapons, eight action-packed locations, each with a, with a unique challenge dojo. Play with friends in the co-op four-player competitive battle maps. Ooh, that's new. And unleash the ninja's elemental powers of spinjitsu. Well, already I can tell that there's a few differences. And already starting down here, there are uh, number of players, table, TV mode, one to four players, tabletop mode, one to four players, handheld mode, one player, because all the other LEGO games are just two players, which is kind of, I mean, it kind of stinks, but it's, uh, it's good having a friend, having multiple friends now for a, a fight in a game. Now, that is a Mario Party. Uh, Nintendo Switch Pro Controller compatible, and as most Switch games, and even Paper Mario Color Splash put it, basic reading ability is needed to fully enjoy this game. It's LEGOs. I'm sure kids are going to know how to pronounce special special vocabulary words in this in this game because it's based on a mo on a Lego movie and then uh, and then just to uh, talk about the elephant in the room this uh, uh, video with this purchase get five dollars off one movie admission to see the Lego with the Jago movie I'll probably uh, I think I'll just use this use this since I saw the movie today it's like, it's like I said, eh, probably go see a friend, because I went with, with two people, with two people, uh, like I said, I'll just go see a f with a friend. And then, yeah, that's, uh, it's for Fandango. I won't show the code, though, obviously. Let me just, you know, get the seal off. How's there glue in the spine? I don't know why I don't know why Switch games have to have glue in the spine. That's weird. Just put that over there. Put that code in later. Try to get some uh, some uh, some parts of the seal off. I mean, I'm probably not gonna get all of it off since you know it's glue. And now let's open it. Wow. No inserts and no alternate cover art. That's kind of lame. But what I do find a bit funny is the E10 Plus rating on the back. Why is that there? I have no idea. I'm sure even Infernox would answer that. Would, would ask that question and he would wouldn't have an answer. I mean, I'm not gonna get Infernox over here, or pretty much any other character. Then, yeah. Aside from that, there's, there's the cartridge with Floyd on it. But no, I mean, Lloyd. What, what do you What do you want me to call it? But yeah, that's pretty much it. <coughs> Sorry about that. So thank you all for watching the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And next video is probably gonna be a Mario Kart video, a Mario Rabbids. Mario Rabbids video, or a Splatoon video, or maybe Breath of the World. I don't. I have no idea what we're gonna do after this. Anyways, shock the world and us, Abby Bros. Goodbye.